Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Excellencies, Madam Secretary General of the UN Conference on Trade and Development, ladies and gentlemen, first of all, I want to say I'm pleased to join this very important dialogue. Secondly, I want to congratulate Barbados for holding this conference. There are four issues I want to talk about, uh, Madam Secretary General. Number one is the distribution of COVID vaccine. Unfortunately, the richer countries are vaccinating their people 20 times faster than the developing world. This inequity has to be removed. So I would uh, ask the chair that you must try your best to make sure that the vaccine has more equitable distribution. Secondly, debt relief. I had campaigned for debt relief for the developing world because everything in the developing world, because of the lockdowns imposed because of uh, the COVID-19, have disproportionately affected the poorer nations, the developing nations. So I would recommend that debt relief should continue till the pandemic is over. Thirdly, climate finance. Uh, Madam Secretary General, the developing world, and I specifically speak about the small island groups, and of course countries like Pakistan, who have been, who are more vulnerable to climate uh, change than even the richer countries. Uh, the small islands, because of the rising uh, sea levels. Countries like Pakistan, because we depend upon water from our glaciers for our survival. And climate change has, uh, the rate of melting of the glaciers has increased phenomenally since the weather has got warmer. So I would request that the richer countries contribute in climate finance and especially help those countries which actually, whose contribution to carbon emissions are minimal and yet are disproportionately affected by climate change. And fourthly, Madam Secretary General, and, and for me as crucial as the impact of climate change is the illicit flow of money from the poor countries, from the developing countries, to richer capitals, to tax havens, to haven destinations. According to uh, the FACTI panel, $7 trillion are parked in these uh, tax havens and haven destinations. And also, annually, $1 trillion leave the developing countries towards, uh, towards these safe havens. And this plunder is taking place because of the corrupt ruling elites of the developing world. Madam Secretary General, this is a, a huge crisis. In the coming years, this is going to get worse. This has to stop. And the only way it will stop is if the recommendations made by the FACTI panel should be implemented. Unfortunately, the richer countries, which can do something about it, unfortunately, they, there is no incentive or motivation to do anything. What it is doing is that it is crushing the people in the developing world. Not just because the money is siphoned off, which should be spent on human development, but because when the money leaves their countries, it affects their currency, which devalues, which then leads to inflation, causes poverty. But eventually, even the richer countries will get affected. Because right now, what you see of economic migrants is a trickle. People dying to get to richer countries. But if this inequality, which is the rich, this is causing the gap between the rich and the country, uh, poor countries increasing, and between the rich and the poor and the poor countries increasing. If this trend continues, the richer countries will have to build walls to keep out the hordes of economic migrants. So I urge you, Madam Secretary General, to do everything to raise awareness that this huge injustice which is being done to the people of the developing world has to stop. Thank you.